What is up, you two peoples? We are here with a little bit of, uh, kind of a little different, I don't think it's unexpected, but a little bit different of a video for you. I'm going to show you, I've had a couple of people ask me, what is my ultimate zombie apocalypse gun? That's what we're going to do. Most people would want something kind of like this right here. This is an AR-15 made in the wonderful state of Idaho. We are in a nice little private spot here in Caldwell, Idaho with Armed American Hiker. If you guys get a chance, check out their website. There's a lot of really cool stuff that they do for people and education-wise and everything. And they are being nice enough to let us use this land. Most people would want an AR-15. And if you are an average sized guy, I would say that's probably a good call. My call is a little bit bigger and I'll show you that in a bit. I don't want to ruin the surprise. So I'm going to let you hear what it sounds like. And the reason I wouldn't pick an AR-15, see if you agree with me. Couple rules, you guys. Always wear ear pro, unless you have a silencer, which I will show you one later. And always wear eye pro, and never be stupid. Don't put your finger on the trigger when people are walking around. And uh, I'm specifically talking to Eddie Hall. Most people know, don't ever go shooting with Eddie Hall. So as you guys could hear, that's uh, it's not like a huge caliber, but it's still really loud. If you're gonna really be prepared, for the zombies everyone knows if they hear you they crowd up and they come for you so get a silencer for sure so second one i'll show you is this is an inkstat ar9 which is basically like the ar15 platform but it's made to shoot nine millimeter bullets again it's a smaller one it's got a lot of positive qualities nine millimeters easy to get to actually right now it's not so i lied nine miller used to be easy to get to until we had 2020 hit the whole idea of getting a gun with a easy to find round doesn't really work we figured that out with this apocalypse so the next apocalypse should be prepared i'll show you the ar9 So you guys watching, make sure you click like and subscribe. I don't care if you enjoy the video, just do it anyway. We'll make sure we keep making these for you. We're gonna do a lot more training stuff, a lot more um, uh, in the life kind of activity stuff. Keep watching, stay tuned. Thanks for the support, guys. All right, now we're actually, this is almost exactly like mine. This is a Nemo AR-10. Uh, it seems like a really nice gun. It's a little bit heavier on the front end than I like. This one seems like it's good to go. It's gonna be a little bit louder. I don't think I hit that <laughs> once. <laughs> AR-10, this is, this is my choice. My surprise uh, is ruined. I have an AR-10 in my bag, that's what I use. And the reason I do is because it's perfect size for a herd of zombies, or if you want deer, elk, anything, it's not too big, it's not too small. And for me, it's not the kick's not a big deal. So AR-15 to AR-10, I don't feel much of a difference. I want a little bit larger round, so it's more versatile. I'll let you see mine in a minute. And of course, the most powerful, the most intimidating gun you can have, the Wilkinson 22. When, when I used to work the corner, this is what we used to put in our G-string. It hides well, works well. Not a good apocalypse gun, but I wanted to make a joke because it's kind of funny. Look how small it is in my hand. All right, you want to hear the difference between a 308 and a 22 when you shoot it? Check this out. I can't even, I can't even hold it right. And like all 22s, it jams. That's just a thing 22s do. That means it's working perfectly. All right, all right. Just, just so you guys can see an actual handgun. This is the Glock 19. It's super fancy. It's actually... Elias, my camera guy's gun. He says it works great. So um, we'll check it out. It's got all this little extra fancy stuff on it. Let's see, Let's see who we get.
Definitely, definitely a nice gun. All right, so here she is. Here's my baby. Before I show her to you though, make sure you guys check the links below. We got new shirts coming out. The old ones are getting turned out. The new ones are coming in. We're switching them out. So if you like anything that's on the catalog right now, you might as well get it because it's going to be gone soon. Without further ado, here she is. This is Delilah. And uh, she is Smith & Wesson AR-10 308 with a beautiful little can on the top made by Odin out here in uh, Idaho. This is my ultimate if the crap hits the fan gun right here. It's got my own personal grips on it, everything. A buddy of mine uh, was actually telling me when, when he was going door to door when he was in Afghanistan, this is the exact same gun that he had with the same pieces, the same extra stuff. So basically I just copied what he had because if it works over there, it'll work over here. I'll show you how much quieter it is with the little uh, can on the end of it. You don't even really need ear pro with this thing. And I'm sure a lot of gun people out there are probably like, oh, there's something way better than that. Each individual person's got their own choices. This right here though, is my ultimate zombie apocalypse gun. And um, just wait until we find out when the zombie apocalypse comes and you'll see how well it works. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Having a lot of fun out here. I like switching it up. You guys seem to be enjoying it. Making sure we're gonna get more training. I got a lot of people asking me to do more training videos, more stuff in the gym. I will most certainly be doing that. I will be doing probably one or two videos a week in the gym and then one out of the gym. That way I can still have fun and everything, but bring you guys along on the, the weight training and everything along as well. And um, you know, of course, if you guys have any ideas, suggestions, anything, you wanna just tell me how pretty I am, you can leave it in the comments below. I'll be back. I'll be here. Stay strong. Stay pretty, y'all.